Hey, orange one here. So, uh, the southern hive apparently is not wiped out. They're attacking us. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that. Um, we do have quite a few really good soldiers there, just like kind of back here at base. Um, I'm going to just basically tell, um, our soldiers, which are kind of all over the place, to come over here. And I'm a little bit concerned, though, because there's Jack and, like, I think Red Main and a couple others there up at that northern base. I don't want them running down, but I kind of need you guys up here. And it's kind of the same deal. I need you guys to come to the gate here. Uh, Non-fighters, though, ideally away from the gate. And, um, yeah, you and George, get away from there. And I think it looks to me like we still have people off of the turrets. It's just there's so many people that are going to be in this fight. Um, I don't think we really want to be using our crossbows. It looks like we started off pretty good there. There's a lot more of them coming, though, in case you haven't... Uh, I don't think I showed it off. Yeah, look at that. There's a lot of them, and it looks like they're actually running in this time. So this is going to be a, a little bit of a brawl. And oh my gosh, look at all that red. Who Who's getting hit for 100-something damage? Kyle? What happened to you there, man? Those, uh, those princes got you pretty bad there. Uh, where is Igor? And yeah, I don't see Igor at all right now. Where are you? There you are. Get over here, man. We need you. Of all the times. Oh man, look at all that red. There's a serious amount of red, but there's some green too. I mean, we're definitely getting hurt a lot more than I would like, but look at Igor. He's getting in there. Um, I think we need all hands on deck now. Yeah, I had hoped to have it just be soldiers, but it looks like... Oh man. Okay, so it looks like the attack has ended or failed. Has anyone died? Um, no, it doesn't look like anyone's dead. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I got just something in my throat there. Um, is anyone close to dying? Not particularly. And you're bleeding quite a bit, but... Yeah, most of the injuries are, like, negative, but not, like, negative, like, 80 or, like, you know, 70 or something like that. Okay, so it looks like we successfully defended ourselves um, without having to do too much micromanagement. Let's, let's let people fight um, who they need to fight, heal who they need to heal, and then it looks like they're kind of running off now. And then let's see if we can save a couple of these guys. Um, can I get people to heal just you know I know our people are healed up essentially at this point oh actually no never mind our people are not healed up um you guys just kind of do your own thing I I don't want our people dying while we save that one dude it's like theirs so Oro you're back on your feet do you have a medical kit you do so what, why are you not healing? Same with you, my friend. Um, oh, you actually... Did you lose your left arm in that battle? I think you must have. There's a lot of hive limbs that probably got severed there. Oh, you're trying to get away. Oh, you're trying to take a prince away. I don't think so there, buddy. That prince is mine. Yeah, uh, where's the prince? there. They're crawling on the ground. I'm gonna just let them kind of get knocked out from blood loss, I think. Um, okay, you're starting to operate machines. If that's the case, then I want you picking up that prince and hopefully healing them, right? Isn't that what people start doing if you pick them up? Don't they start to get healed? Right? Yeah, this guy's starting to get fixed up a little bit, right? No? I thought when you picked up enemies that they started to get healed a little bit. I'm pretty sure that's what Ezio's doing. 
Or maybe they're working on Southern Plater. Uh, pick up that guy, because they're definitely a recruit that we can get. Yeah, we're gonna have... looks like we're gonna be recovering from this for a while. Um, Jarlsberg's actually still hurt as well. Guys, can I just put you all on the medic job if you're not already on the medic job? Yeah, that'd be great. Because there's people who need it. Uh, Benedict? What's going on here? Oh, I was running you... Oh, right, you were bringing copper back to the fort. I do vaguely, vaguely remember that now. Oh, and Arnold too. Or maybe I, Arnold, I don't know if I actually want you coming to the base. Sure, we'll bring you to the base. Um, I'm basically at this point going to be trying to get the team ready to uh, go down to the um, Catlon. I think we just need to heal up from that assault, get some heroic limbs on people. Wait, Igor, you're 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 just you're hurt, and you're just sitting around. You're just like, yeah, I'll just take a seat. No big deal. It's fine. Um, and now I've completely lost track of the ones that I wanted to recruit. The ones that we wanted to pick up. I'm just realizing. Um, yeah, let's go back out here. Oro's got one of them, who's dying. We could heal that person up. I would really appreciate it. Are you guys doing medical work? I mean, it looks like it's repairing at this point, right? Yeah, robotics. Okay, so could I take everyone and have you heal up this prince that's on Oro's back there? Just stop them from bleeding out. And then Oro, why don't you go ahead and put them in a cage? Oh yeah, by the way, look at that. I got a war gorilla. <laughs> in a cage you gotta you gotta do some things for the lulls especially when you get to the end game in a game like this right and yes i think that i am comfortable saying that we are in the end game at this point uh that is pretty close to death if there's a prince that's still alive i would like that i'm just gonna check over the bodies just for a minute just to look for princes and a drone guard, sure, I'll take them. There's a number of them, actually, that are doing better than I thought they would be. You're playing good. Uh, there's, a, there's definitely a good chunk that we can save. Unfortunately, a lot of the princes died, though. Oh, man, so I was talking to my students about in... Um, in like the biological world like different reproductive strategies that animals use like we were just like talking about this because unfortunately we kind of ran out of time and we're not going to get to cover like asexual versus sexual selection and i was telling them about this book that was recommended to me um by someone who works at this nonprofit that my school used to partner with that was like this uh school garden nonprofit. sorry i'm trying to get find that these dead people or not dead people that i found earlier you okay everyone we're saving private drone guard over here um yeah basically i was talking to them about a couple different crazy examples like i don't know what's the craziest example of something in the reproductive uh like world that you know of like why don't we collect a couple weird things, and then we can say the hybrids do that, basically. So I, I randomly started thinking about this because I was actually just thinking about like the hyper, um, like reproductive structures and like the queen and whatnot. Because or not structures, but like the society and like the I don't know. I'm spacing on the right word, but like the routines that. And, and norms that they have um, for finding a mate. Because I was I was uh, talking to them about wasps and like figs and how some wasps inside of the fig, um, not all of them, but in a number of species, they cannibalize eat their own siblings and then will mate with their own siblings and then fly off to another fig. Basically because there's no other wasps, once they leave that fig, um, they have to get... Um, fertilized by their their siblings it's it's pretty crazy and actually because of that the um 
the males are born without any wings. Like they literally are, are born with no chance to ever escape being ate by their sisters slash lovers. <laughs> it's it's a it's a weird world out there, right? So I was like telling them a little bit about like that, and they were just like horrified naturally, as like most humans are when they first hear that. Um, but you know, it's it's just the natural world. It's a different system than ours, and yeah, it's just it's also just kind of fascinating that that is even possible. Uh, that oh, I thought it said war leader, war gorilla. It's very suspicious. Um, maybe not just the backup armor. Who, who else is close to this dude? I and mean, if these are the last of the hivers, we gotta save them, right? And you gotta respect the last of the hivers. Um, pick him up. Oh, red main can't pick him up. Uh, Trill, can you pick him up? You can. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I I don't know how many of these people I'm actually gonna recruit, seeing how I'm like basically I've said that I'm I'm kinda done with this this game. Or this let's play. But the collector in me can't turn it down. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes you just collect things, not with any intention of ever actually using it, just just because you have this weird collector drive. Um, yeah, it looks like we got all the ones that we could heal up. And we actually have a lot of left arms that are still missing. Uh, let's see, 1886. I know you're trying to probably drop off guard too. Yeah, so I'll let you go do that. I don't know why you're kind of stuck not doing that. Oh, it's because the beds are all full. Okay. Well, that is kind of a problem. Uh, Jazz, what? What's going on with Jazz? Oh no, please tell me that we're not about to lose Jazz. Jazz, please tell me that you can get away from these Fogmen. I just completely forgot about you over here. I'm sorry. It's my bad. If I try and get you away from these dudes, can you? Yes. Okay, so you're actually gonna probably be okay. I don't know. Oh no, 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 no. Do not run towards them. Keep on running over here. Perfect. I wonder if he actually hit any of them. And actually, do you have... You do have inventory. I was just curious to see um, what exactly Jazz was carrying. Come over here. We'll figure a path around this way. I don't... I just don't want you running into a group of Fogmen. Does not seem like a smart thing to do. You also have an injured right arm, which is going to mean that when we do get into a fight, you're not going to be able to actually swing your sword. Which is probably what was happening to you with these Fogmen. They were probably just railing on you while you didn't have like an actual weapon. Okay, it looks like we figured out a path to get back. Yeah, I think that we just need to heal down in the Southern Hive. Um, maybe try and recruit some people. Maybe get some robotic limbs on people. And then just get that that group heading down towards Catlon. Yeah, I'm sorry if uh, it seems like I'm just complaining and just trying to end this. It's um, I've really enjoyed my time with you all. And it's I feel like I've finally started to come out of the Bannerlord days that I was in. Like, I feel like I just... I went really hardcore into the Bannerlord. Like, and now I'm reflecting back on it. And I'm like, man, I know I shouldn't have, and I knew I shouldn't have while I was doing it, that I probably should prioritize this and the Cataclysm series more. It's really interesting, if you look at the analytics, um, my Cataclysm series, for the first time since um, the Kenshi Hyper only series has been out, the um, Cataclysm series is doing better than it. Significantly better, actually, but and I'm still putting episodes out, but it's weird because the watch time that I get for those isn't from the stuff that I'm publishing right then and there. It's it's mostly from stuff from like uh, like a, a while ago. Okay, these cannibals are bugged out. Whatever. Jazz is back home. Safe and sound. I think I was... I don't 
We grabbed some nice revived limbs. Yeah. Not sure why, though, because maybe um, I might send Silas back up here one more time to grab some good gear. That's, kind of, that's the only thing I can think of. We do have some really good weapons coming out of here now. Let's have a look at those. Yeah, you got like a number of edge type ones. I'll take anything that's not an edge type one and we'll sell that. Yeah, look at all those. That's just absolutely bonkers. And, and we do also have Grog. So between the weapons and the Grog production, which we've got everyone doing now, by the way. If you're wondering what's going on with all these other people. We've got non-brewers um, doing some of the brewing for us to speed up the money collection process. But you can tell that we have an absurd amount of cash in Jazz's inventory right now. Um, in terms of items that he could sell. There's nowhere to sell them. There's just mongrel. Um, so we'll send you back to mongrel at the very least. I might actually just, just take a second. Just repair that arm just so you can actually use it. Yeah. So it's semi-functional. Good good idea to tend to have a semi-functional arm. I don't want to just have you attack one of these heavies. But, you know, it's kind of like why at the same time. So yeah, sorry, I was talking about the reproductive strategies and I totally forgot to mention um, about bees. Bees are insane. And so I was thinking about this with the hivers and like the male-female thing um, recently. And so if you're unaware, I don't know if this is all bees, but um, some bees, at least some bees, um, basically the queen, she flies out when she's ready to be um, fertilized. And she just gets attacked by the males. Like, the males literally swarm her. It's like a free-for-all, um, kind of an orgy, you know? <laughs> and it's just like, they're literally all just trying to, like, um, throw little caps at her after, like, they, and they have sex with her and then they try and stick this cap in her to block the other ones from being able to get in there. And it's this whole, like, protein warfare with the caps. And it's super intense and super less, like, overwhelming to even think about, you know? And I, I wonder if the hivers are like that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, oh man. The queen knows what she likes kind of thing, you know? Oh look, there's a, oh, there's a drone guard that's just recovered there. I, I healed you up and then didn't actually put you somewhere. Whoops. Uh, can you guys actually heal them up then? Do I have a med kit? Why is Silas outside the gate? Were you like bringing something to the base or something? I don't even know. Um, we're gonna want people to heal up though. It's gonna be a while before we actually head out of here. So, I think we'll try maybe and recruit someone. I don't think we have any elite drone guards, do we? No. We do have the queen, though, right there. I don't think she wants to talk to us, though. Yeah. She just yells when you do talk to her, in, in my experience. She just, like, makes noises. Okay, so this guy's looted, so I can definitely talk to you. <gasps> nice. Welcome to your new hive. Um, I don't know what to call you. Uh, I mean, the hive's just fallen, so... We'll go with that for now. Like I said, I, I can't really come up with good names right now. Um, let's, let's just put this in our inventory, because we're going to have to toss it in the furnace anyways. And, oh, actually, you do have uh, some masterwork uh, leggings for us as well. Perfect. Nice, so we got some good armor, some good weapons, just like in stock here, it looks like. 
We won't give him good stuff for both of his weapons because I suspect we'll want to get another refugee to join up with us. Um, and you're actually really hungry, so you're act it looks like you're getting taken care of. I don't want you to be an FM, though. Let's have you in the soldier squad. And near the back of the soldier squad. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of... Yeah, people are, are still recovering. I really want to get going. And honestly, we're going to have to fight our way down to the south. Um, so I don't know how much breaks we're going to need to take um, to heal up. Or how it's even really going to work. If I look, it looks like... Um, yeah, by the way, the southern ho uh, uh, hive attack came from over there. The same as last time. Uh, let's just take a second, and at the very least, we can go through and get people robotic limbs. Uh, you need a left arm. I thought my friend already got a left arm. Yeah. And I think there's probably another left arm that needs to be had somewhere around here. Uh, you need a left leg, though. Which I've actually got quite a few of, so. Perfect. Um, actually not perfect, because you need to be over here. And maybe I'll give you the high quality one. Where are you, actually? Anvil. Yeah, Anvil needs a hand. Someone needs to go pick up Anvil. Tanishi, why don't you go be a good neighbor? Or not. Oh, uh, no, you're stuck. Tanishi's stuck. Um... Why don't we have guard four then do it? Probably want to have someone go pick up um, Tanishi as well, because Tanishi will eventually starve to death over there. Uh, so let's see, Southern Miner over here. I suppose I could just grab Blake and have Blake get up for a second to pick up Tanishi. That would have been fine. Southern Miner 1. Is that the original Southern Miner 1? Because they're in the first place, and I just realized that that they may have been here for, like, years. Like, in-game world equivalent of years, at least, you know. Um, that is a weird sound. I didn't know that the building's... The electronic buildings made that sound. Look at that animation. That was kind of weird as well. Yeah, that, that's a little funky there with the hivers. Oh my gosh, this is horrifying. Ah! <laughs> right? Uh, oh no, Anvil's getting taken away. I got so distracted by the horror. Um, now we're going to give you the high quality one. Because I'm cheap like that. And now I'm hearing that buzzing sound... It, ever so slightly if I'm just a little too close. Any... there has to be other robotic limbs, right? I could have sworn that there was other people who had lost something. Really? Okay. I bet it's someone in here. I mean... You missing your left arm is not the end of the world. Same. Left leg, uh, that is kind of a big deal though. The backup farmer needs a left leg. I'll take a standard stealth leg. Where are you? Oh, you're also over here. Uh, okay, I need, to, I need to just destroy this thing. This is annoying. Yeah. Nosh, go ahead and pick them up. Then you can go start a fire or something. Like you do. Because Nosh and my other uh, series is a complete psychopath. Hey, if you're here, but you know, I know that a lot of people aren't really watching the Bannerlord, but I thought it might be kind of interesting to summarize the series. And I've been thinking about doing this for a while is doing like, uh, the story summarized kind of thing, but for a number of my let's plays, like to give like the, um, half an hour story version of the Kenshi Hivers only, you know? Um, but for like Bannerlord and Cataclysm, and I think that would be kind of cool to listen to. Uh, you know, just mostly from the perspective of, um, like, I don't want to spend the time to watch the whole series, but there's an interesting story here. 
like with Nosh, the fact that he is an ex-prison convict in the zombie apocalypse who's found a couple cyborgs in a lab underneath a city is just like, oh, it's so good. It's such good storytelling, you know? It's awesome. Uh, motorist, you need a left arm. That is something I would consider, but I think that... Yeah, there's other people that need the left arm that do fighting, so I kind of want that. Okay, I don't have a second left arm, do I? No, I don't. Always good to double check. And then I also think uh, these motorists, they might be carrying some cybernetics as well. Yes, just as I suspected. Because I don't have that one mod installed that someone was telling me about. I need to just do that. It's so annoying to try and navigate cybernetics without it. I don't know where you're walking, bud. Um, and we actually have enough cybernetics to make someone a full-on skeleton, right? And we just need our left arm. Um, yeah, and that's actually being worked on right now. This, this right leg is not, though. I'm looking for... yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm... hands off. No more. I'm done. I'm done micromanaging that stuff. Uh, but I will work on getting our party just a little bit more lightweight and ready to charge off towards the, the southeast. Sure, why don't you take one of those each and then I'll give you the medic job. Got a little bit of the music there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> And yeah, if you, I think it was TC or someone, we were talking about the food. If you look, our food situation isn't perfect, but it's, it's about sustaining itself, you know? And we do actually have some of these things, so I think I might just make it so we're producing a little bit more water. And actually, we've got so much food, actually, we're fine. I, um... Don't really need to worry about that anymore. Um, yeah, I think in between this and the next episode, we'll just be trying to fine tune who's got what armor and who's healed up, and, and then we'll head out and have this group head out down there. I was thinking of maybe sending Silas up to go get more of those amazing weapons, um, but his backpack is too dang small. If we really want him to do that, we need to have someone with a better back. Someone's, like, big backpack. Which I don't know who has a big backpack. Uh, do one of these fit? Yes, they do. So, Beanie, you and Silas need to trade with each other. Because I want your backpack. So that we can just load up on as many, um, edge, uh, grade quality weapons as possible. We'll, we'll get something like that, and then we'll switch, and Silas should be good to go back to uh, the Ant Hill, and we'll just like, I mean, we might as well, is what I'm thinking, because people need a little bit longer to heal anyways, and I was thinking of putting it on our robotic limbs on another person, slash, I mean, Jazz is probably ready to actually sell things now. Just a little quick save before we go to the Foglands. Um, so I bet Jazz um, and whatnot could get us enough cash to get uh, one more set of nice cybernetics from um, the Black Desert City. And really what we need to do is run Jazz down back there again, because the weapons and armor that Jazz has got is worth a fair amount. So if I like, yeah, try and sell these swords. Yeah, like each one of these is worth 5,000. So like you could get like at least one cybernetic just for those swords, you know? Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I might send ja Jazz down to Admeg again, but they were so poor. 
I mean, Squin is... I haven't gone to Squin. Squin might be, actually be a good place to sell things at. So we'll start Jazz running down there. Just get, like, the last bit of our cash. I keep on telling me it's the last bit, and then I'm, like, not able to finish it, because I... I don't know if I'm a perfectionist, but I always, I've always had this issue with late game, with video games. Like, I get to the end of the game, and then I don't actually want to finish it. I remember this. Like, I had this with, like, uh, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. I got all, all the way to the final castle, was very comfortable, didn't think the game was very difficult up to that point, and then Ganon just freaked me out. And I was like, okay, I give up. And I, I honestly, I never finished Ocarina of Time. Like, Ganon just freaked me out too much. I, I was able to do, like, when I was older, I was able to um, uh, beat Ganon in Wind Waker. But, like, I it wasn't, like, I was, like, old enough where I wasn't just, like, straight up scared of Ganondorf. But I was, like, um, intimidated. And I got, like, anxiety from the thought of trying to finish the last boss game. Which makes sense now, because I do think I honestly have anxiety, because I, 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 I told you guys about the chest pain that I was getting months ago, right? And so I was like, yeah, I can't handle finishing some, some things. So I'm kind of going through that with this right now, where I'm like getting a lot of anxiety with like, how do I finish this and have it end in a way that's, that feels right. Where I feel like I'm honoring the, uh, the time that you guys have given me and the bond that we've, we've built over the last year or so. Um, you know, but I'm, I'm having fun. I'm still enjoying playing this game. I'm starting to get to the point where my enjoyment with this game has started to go up slowly. I've been kind of avoiding it, though. Um, I've been playing a lot of Cataclysm the last day or two. Just because I'm getting to the mutation stuff and it's fun to give NPCs, like, cow mut mutagen and turn them into a cow person. And if you guys are interested in me giving you the summary of the Bannerlord story, let me know. But I don't want to be overbearing because I'm sure that I'm trying to put myself in your shoes and you're probably sick of Bannerlord seeing how it's taken away from the Kenshi series. And I'm sorry about that. So I'll, I won't I won't talk about Bannerlord here if you guys are feeling like you wouldn't want to hear that uh, highlights of that. Um, in any case, we're over half an hour, so I am going to end this. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.